45 years have passed since viewers were first acquainted with the Ewing family. Prior to popular series such as Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad, there was Dallas, the unmissable TV show of the 80s. The program ruled over network television throughout the decade, making everyone dream of residing in the famous South Fork Ranch. It left the whole nation pondering, who shot Jera? Let us take a glimpse into what the original Dallas series cast has been up to lately. Larry Hagman Before becoming known as J.R. Ewing on Dallas, Larry Hagman had an established career in the industry, appearing in all 139 episodes of I Dream of Jeannie. His performance as J.R. earned him four Golden Globe nods and two Primetime Emmy nominations. Following his 13-year stint as J.R., Hagman acted in various productions, which include Primary Colors, as well as TV films like Dallas J.R. Returns and Dallas War of Ewings. After this, he took a step back from acting until 2006, when he made a comeback through five episodes of Nip Slash Tuck. Hagman's last appearances on screen consisted of a brief run on Desperate Housewives in 2011 and returning to play J.R. Ewing once again in the 2012 Dallas reboot. Married to Mate Axelson since 1954, Hagman remained by her side till his passing in 2012. Together, they raised two kids, Heidi Christina and Preston. Diagnosed with liver cirrhosis in 1992 due to heavy drinking, Hagman revealed in 1995 that doctors found a malignant growth on his liver and received a transplant shortly after. Sadly, in 2012, it was reported that the Texan-born actor died at a Dallas medical center due to issues related to cancer. Ken Kerchevel Prior to being cast as Cliff Barnes on Dallas, Ken Kerchevel featured in numerous TV shows and films. Gaining recognition through this role, he also went on to win a Soap Opera Digest Award. Once Dallas wrapped up, Kerchevel acted in titles such as I Still Dream of Jeannie, Murder, She Wrote, The Golden Palace, Walker, Texas Ranger, ER, alongside both Dallas follow-up movies, namely Dallas, Jail Returns, and Dallas, War Viewings. Between 1993 to 2000, fans saw Kerchevel make guest appearances on Diagnosis Murder, followed by cameos on Crossing Jordan, and finally finishing off with a 14-part storyline within the Dallas reboots spanning between 2012 to 2014. To date, his latest work includes the movie Surviving Lay, which dropped posthumously in 2020. Throughout his life, Kerchevel exchanged vows twice, initially wedded to Judith Peters Watt from 1956 to 1967, with whom he fathered three kids named Caleb, Lisa, and Aaron, subsequently marrying Ava Ruth Fox between 1986 to 1993, resulting in another child called Asta, later tying knots with Cheryl Paris, starting in 1994, welcoming one daughter named Madison prior separating officially in 2004. Regrettably, owing to decades of excessive cigarette use, Kerchivel developed lung cancer, necessitating partial removal of a lung way back in 1994. Furthermore, he contracted pneumonia during late stages of his life, eventually succumbing at age 83 in April 2019. Barbara Bell Geddes, remembered for playing the Ewing family matriarch, Miss Ellie Ewing, on Dallas, launched her career in the late 1940s on Broadway, earning multiple accolades for her theater performances. She ventured into cinema in 1947 with The Long Night and subsequently gained a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination for her role in 1948's Mama, I Remember. Her budding film career faced disruption upon being listed on the infamous Hollywood blacklist in 1951, prompting her to refocus on Broadway while accepting guest spots across various TV programs, among them Studio One, Playhouse 90, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Decision, and Riverboat. Season 3 unfolded a particularly significant plot for Belle Geddes, whose real-life breast cancer battle mirrored her character's journey involving a mastectomy. This brave portrayal garnered Belle Geddes a second Emmy nod in Maiden Victory, marking the sole occasion a Dallas actor claimed an Emmy. Moreover, she snagged a Golden Globe nomination and emerged victorious in 1982, receiving further nods in 1981 and 1982. Filming the sixth season neared completion when Bell Geddes required quadruple bypass heart surgery, compelling her absence from the initial 11 installments of season 7. Temporarily substituted by Donna Reed, she later rejoined the production until its conclusion in 1990. Post-retirement from acting, Bell Geddes authored two children's books, I Like to Be Me and So Do I, 
before dying from lung cancer at 82 in 2005. Patrick Duffy Before gaining fame as Bobby Ewing on Dallas, Patrick Duffy had already dabbled in acting with a handful of credits to his name and kept busy acting in multiple TV movies alongside the running series. Once Dallas concluded, Duffy swiftly secured another leading role opposite Susan Summers in the popular sitcom, Step by Step, directing numerous episodes amidst its seven-season span from 1991 to 1998. Staying active in the industry, Duffy landed parts in various TV movies and series throughout the 90s and early 2000s, even gracing Family Guy, Reba, and the feature film You Again, alongside Kristen Bell, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Betty White. Returning to the Dallas reboot from 2012 to 2014, Duffy maintained regular gigs on different shows such as Hollywood Darlings, American Housewife, Station 19, and NCIS. Between 2006 and 2022, he assumed the recurring role of Stephen Logan on the renowned soap opera The Bold and the Beautiful. Embracing Buddhism after introduction by spouse Carlin Rosser, Duffy practiced faithfully as a devotee of Soka Gakkai International. Married in 1974, the pair welcomed two boys, but Drake and Connor, into their lives but lost touch tragically when Duffy's parents met a violent fate during an armed robbery at their Montana eatery in 1986. Expressing deep sorrow in a 2019 interview, he confided, My dad had thrown those two young guys out of the bar earlier. They came back looking for revenge and gunned down both my mom and dad. Resilient despite grief, Duffy engaged in new romantic pursuits, confirming reports in 2020 about dating fellow actress Linda Pearl subsequent to losing Rosser in 2017. Linda Gray Linda Gray gained popularity for her role as Sue Ellen Ewing on Dallas, mainly having done guest appearances previously. Post-Dallas, she featured in numerous TV movies during the 90s and bagged a primary part in Models Incorporated, 1994, though it ran for merely a season. Reuniting the Dallas cast, Gray reappeared as Sue Ellen in two TV movies and did a six-episode stint on The Bold and the Beautiful, 0405. Guest spots followed in 90,210 and films like The Flight of the Swan and Hidden Moon. In the Dallas reboot 2012-2014, she resumed her feigned role, besides starring in the Hallmark Channel's Perfect Match and popping up in shows Winter Throne, Significant Mother, Hollyoaks, and Hilton Head Island. In 2019, she featured in Granddaddy Day Care and Intuitions. The actress married art director and photographer Ed Thrasher in 1962 and was married to him 21 years before getting a divorce in 1982. The former couple shared two children, Jeff Thrasher and Kelly Sloan. Steve Cannelly, during his Dallas days as Ray Krebs, Steve Cannelly concurrently popped up on various contemporaneous favorites like Fantasy Island, The Love Boat, and The Twilight Zone. Though involved in other endeavors, he remains synonymous with the Krebs persona. Post-Dallas Peak, Cannelly featured in Driving Me Crazy and Double Trouble, later assuming a spot in Okavango. The Wild Frontier, however, it ran solely for two seasons. Sequentially, he embarked on a ten-part stretch with daytime drama All My Children. Sprinkling in Walker, Texas Ranger, and the division appearances, Cannelly vanished from screens for nearly a decade. Returning to the small screen in 2012 for the Dallas reboot, he surfaced in four episodes. Finally, in 2014, he closed his acting chapter with a single appearance on Divanity. Love blossomed between Cannelly and Brent Power in 1974, engaging in marriage merely a year later in March 1975. Ever since, they've nurtured a beautiful family with daughters Quinn Catherine and Evan Elizabeth. Howard Keel Howard Keel was already an established film star when he joined the cast of Dallas as Clayton Farlow. During the 1950s, he was known for his roles in various musicals, both on stage and on screen. After his successful stint with MGM Studios in the late 50s and 60s, where he appeared in numerous Broadway and West End productions, his fame began to decline. However, he experienced a resurgence in his career through appearances in shows like Murder, She Wrote, Heart to Heart, and My Father's House, during the 90s and early 2000s. At the age of 64 in 1984, Keel launched his music career with the release of his debut album titled With Love, which was followed by two more albums. Regarding his personal life, Keel tied the knot with his first wife, Rosemary Cooper, in 1943, but their marriage ended in divorce only five years later in 1948. Later that same year, he met actress Helen Anderson while working together on Oklahoma. 
they exchanged vows the very next year in 1949. With her, he became a father to three children, daughters Kajaliane and Kirstine Elizabeth, along with a son named Gunnar Lewis. Unfortunately, their union also came to an end in 1970. Subsequently, Keel found love again and married airline flight attendant Judy Magamol in December 1970. Their loving relationship lasted for 34 beautiful years until Keel's passing in 2004. This lovely couple welcomed a daughter, Leslie Grace, into their lives. Altogether, Keel is blessed with 10 adorable grandkids from all his kids. Sadly, in 2004, Keel received devastating news about being diagnosed with colon cancer. Only six short weeks after receiving this heartbreaking information, he passed away in November of that same year. Victoria Principal in 1975, Victoria Principal made the decision to leave acting behind and work as an agent for a couple of years, with plans to attend law school. However, fate intervened when the Dallas script landed on her desk, leading her to instantly recognize that playing Pamela Barnes Ewing was meant for her. Her outstanding performance even garnered a nod for a Golden Globe Award. After departing from Dallas prior to its conclusion, Principal went on to feature in several television movies during the latter part of the 80s and the 90s. Additionally, she graced the screens of programs such as Burden of Proof, Home Improvement alongside Tim Allen, and The Larry Sanders Show as a guest star. Expanding her horizons further, Principal founded her own production firm in 1987 called Victoria Principal Productions, under which she not only acted, but also served as producer for six distinct projects. Besides her accomplishments on screen, she successfully ventured into writing, authoring four publications centered around beauty, healthcare, fitness, and overall wellness. As far as her romantic relationships go, Principal initially got hitched to writer-producer Christopher Skinner back in 1978 after meeting him through his minor appearance on Dallas. But unfortunately, their marriage crumbled quickly, and they separated officially in 1980. Following this, she embarked upon a notable romance with musician-composer Andy Gibb, after crossing paths on The John Davidson Show. Although they collaborated on multiple tracks together and unveiled their duet, All I Have to Do is Dream in 1981, their relationship ceased shortly afterward in March 1982. Finally, Principal encountered her future spouse, Dr. Harry Glassman, in 1983 and sealed their bond in matrimony in June 1985. Sadly, after being married for more than 20 years, Principal initiated proceedings for divorce in 2006 due to irreconcilable differences.